Okay, well today we're going to put together a little electronic game kit. This is sold by Sane Smart. I'll put a link to their webpage down below. Uh, it's a kit that has four little arcade games on it, like Snake, uh, Tetris, uh, Racing Game, and some other game. I can't remember what it is. I'm not too impressed how this came packaged in a little plastic bag, just thrown in a box. And as a result, you can see some of the components have gotten the pins bent because of that. Not a big fan of how they uh, bag this up. But anyway, let's open the bag up here. Get our pieces out. So here's the little console pieces. All that good stuff. Little LED matrix. That's cool. Two of them. Then we have our battery compartment. Cool. Our various push button switches and other various electrical components. A little capacitor in there. And we have the circuit board. It's a cool looking circuit board. Same smart. Pretty little kit. Okay. And of course, we have our little, uh, ooh, little LED display here with all the bent pins because it wasn't packaged very well. Those can be straightened out really easily. It's just disappointing that they didn't, could protect a little bit better than that. So, okay. Let's get to putting this thing together. Uh, I'll put a link down in the notes as well to the instructions that you can download on soldering this all together step by step. It's pretty straightforward. So, now we're going to do a little time lapse video of me putting this thing together. Awesome!
Alright, here it is, all completed. It's a neat little uh, game unit. It does come with four games, like I said before. Got a nice little USB port on the side that'll allow you to put your own games on this thing. I've not really had a chance to mess with that yet. I mainly just wanted to assemble this just to check it out. So let's just put some batteries in this bad boy. We'll fire it up. And check out the games. Do do do. Four AAA batteries. Awesome. And then we turn it on. Oh, cool. So there's the first game, which is Tetris. So there's the second game, which is Snake. Cool. Third game is a driving game. Oh, that's kind of neat. And the fourth game looks like some kind of shooting game. Pretty cool. And we have our USB port connection. And then we have the speaker control. I'll put it on F to see what that does. Pretty cool. So let's go back. Awesome. Okay, let's try out some of the games on here real quick. I'm going to readjust my camera so you can see the screen a little bit better. Okay, I got the camera readjusted. I like that little initialization thing there. Pretty cool. So I already established what the speaker thing does back here. If you put it to F, it turns the sound off. Put it to N, the sound's on. I don't know what N and F stand for, but there's the USB. Let's go back. We're going to try the games out. First, we're going to try Tetris. <laughs> that does a little intro tune and then it goes quiet. over here. Oh, here we go. Get a line. You can see the counter just went up one. So I got one line complete. Two lines. Oh, this is cool. It's not a bad little Tetris game. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's cool. Okay, let's try out a different game now. We're going to try Snake. I used to like playing this game on my cell phone. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's try the racing game next. So here we go, race. Oh! <laughs> Oops. That didn't work out too good. Try it again. Oh. 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 I'm chickening out. Oh. Braver. Whoa. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I got 147 points. Cool. So now let's try the last game, which is some kind of shoot 'em up game. Oh, 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 I like the laser. Trying to prevent the dots from getting to the bottom of the screen. Oh, 
this is kind of cool. I'm thinking maybe I can make a Space Invader game on this thing. I might have to try that. Get a little more familiar with it and try to make Space Invaders on here. Oh, this is kind of neat. I like this. The main reason I picked this up because I wanted Tetris. Oh, and I thought it was kind of cool to have another version of Tetris. Pretty cool device. All right, let's share some final thoughts on this crazy thing. Overall, it's a really cool little uh, electronic kit. It's great for practicing, you know, if you're learning how to solder. It's a fun way to learn how to solder and plus have something you can play around with when you're done. Didn't take very long to assemble this thing. Probably took me about 45 minutes or so. Had to make a few minor tweaks as I was putting it together. Nothing really major. One of the things you want to make sure of is when you get the little standoffs in the correct order here. Long one on the bottom, short one on the top. That's so the USB port will line up with the hole here on the side. Uh, I'll mess around this for a little bit, and I may uh, do another video where I make a game and put it on using the USB port. Overall, it was a really fun kit to put together. I really kind of like this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.